guys, Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I've got a quick tip on how to do built-in wet-dry knobs for uh, instruments that wouldn't normally have it. Um, a lot of the older effects on Reason don't come with a wet-dry knob, but this can also be really uh, helpful if you're trying to recreate sort of certain send effects. Um, <coughs> sorry, I've got terrible allergies right now, um, but this is just going to be a quick tip on how we can uh, basically do a miniature send effect on an insert channel. Um, so let's listen to this just really simple basic progression um, and then we'll start building the, uh, the send effects. <laughs> Nothing special there, um, but what we'll do uh, to make this work is we will first want to start with a um, go to utilities and use a spider audio merger, and then below that, what we're going to do is create a utilities um, line mixer. Okay, so what you're first doing is you're going to send the output to the spider. The spider basically just splits a signal. Now what we'll do is we'll, let's say we want, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna hold down shift to create these without any wiring. So we'll do the, some of the ones without sends. Um, some of the older ones, a flanger. A DRV7 and effects the, uh, um, the DDL one, which I actually still like. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the stereo splitter to send a, well, actually the first one we're going to do is send to channel one, and that's going to be the clean signal of the mixer. The second one we're going to do to uh, the flanger, and then we'll pop out there. The third to the reverb, and go there. And the fourth to the delay, which will go there. And then I un unhooked this earlier just to show you that then the master out of the mixer will go back in. So now we've got four versions of the signal which are all equally loud, equally feeding in. Um, and actually, I guess the, these two have a wet dry. But um, what we'll do is we'll we'll uh, turn the volume down on the reverb and the delay, and just have the flanger on at first. Actually, we can even turn the clean. So this is the flanger sound right here. Doesn't that sound good? Okay, so now what we can do is take the clean signal and just mix in a bit of the flanger. All right, and then let's throw some of the reverb on. We'll turn this, and maybe we'll, so. And then we'll add some delay panned over to one side. Just a little. And you know what? I actually think that I will, oops, I want a gated reverb. So what I can do is I can go to the reverb and use a device like Synchronous. And I'm gonna hold down shift just to not mess everything up. And instead of having the digital reverb go back into the board, I'm going to send the reverb to the synchronous like this. Oh, come on. So, all right. The spider is still going to the reverb. The reverb is going to the synchronous. And the synchronous is going back to the board. And what we'll use is just a simple gate long side chain. And now the reverb is going to be gated. And let's make it faster. So 
We've got this triplet side chain. And then we're bringing the phaser. And then finally the main. And the great thing about doing it this way is if you go to bounce your tracks, all the effects will be built in. Um, whereas if you use send effects, um, the send channels get bounced out, but um, they don't individually preserve. So if you're sending like four different instruments to a reverb send, that reverb send is just going to include the reverb of all four of those summed together. Um, so this is, can be a great way of quickly um, adding some unique tone to your songs without having it uh, go everywhere. Um, and then what you can do is also, um, sometimes it's easier to do this um, through a combinator, um, but you're already in the channel here. Um, but there are lots of combinators. If you go to effects, um, no, it's not here. It's, um, well, uh, extensions, yeah. So somewhere, effects, I don't know, somewhere around here, there's a big library of pre-built combinators that have all sorts of effects on them, and it's really helpful. So I hope you enjoyed this. 